I'm here today with Dave and George with Texas Overland Festival. Good to see you guys. So how did this all start? That is my question. Where is the, what's the background of this? Uh, this is anticipated to be the biggest Overland Festival in Texas history of Overland Festivals. Yeah, that's what we're shooting for, man. And just to give you a little background about myself, like I started off in real estate, but I always had this thing where like I was going outdoors all the time ever since I was a kid. And I was always either going outdoors or playing with race cars. Like I was like doing one or the other. And race car events are crazy. You show up, there's vendor rows for miles. There's tons of stuff. There's food, there's everything. And I started doing more and more outdoor stuff. And it was just like, man, like, why isn't there events like race car stuff for outdoor stuff and four by four and overlanding, mm -hmm. you know, in Texas, like, and then I came across Expo, you know, and I'm like, man, that's really far from where we're at in Texas. I mean, in a way, if you live here, you'll understand that it kind of feels like we're in our own country because <laughs> it's so big and it takes so long to get out of. Absolutely. So I'm like, man, like I was literally at a brewery one day having a beer and they had like four extra acres in the back. It's called Fortress in the spring. And um, I said, hey, what do you guys do with the acres like in the back? They're like, dude, if you want to do something in the back, like we'll just, you can just use the space as long as you bring people and they buy beer. Like we don't really care. Yeah. And I'm like, perfect. I have an idea. So I said, man, I'm going to invite a bunch of vendors for free. No tickets, just free. We're going to do raffles. So I'll let people RSVP for the raffle and see how it goes. And I think I did maybe like 45 days worth of like free marketing just on social media, Facebook groups and Instagram. And we went from like, I had set the bar to like 200 and I was like, ah, if I hit 200 people, like I'm good. Like success. That's a lot. Yeah. For a Saturday, like a Saturday morning. And then we hit 200 tickets like the first two weeks. And then we were like 250, three, 354, 455. I kept having to raise the bar. And then we hit 500 like the night before the event. And then the day of the event, we had about a thousand people show up. Wow. <laughs> there was no parking. People were parking. So you down found the, the demand. Yes. Yeah. Even the cops showed up. And what yeah. year was this? Was this, uh, this was this year. So this 2023 year. Okay. in March. Excellent. And that was the Houston Off Road Expo that, um, that I hosted. And we had 27 vendors. Wow. Some, some kind of bigger guys were there. Escapod was there. AL Off Road was there. Adventure Fitters from KD in Houston was there. Um, and it was like, man, everybody loved it. Everybody had a great time. And everybody was like, man, you just need to do a bigger one. And I said, well, that's the plan. So <laughs> that was the test and that worked. So now we're moving forward and we're like doing Texas Overland Fest as big as we can. That's awesome. So it's uh, October the 13th through 15th. What, what's the location? Tell us about the location. So locations in Caldwell, Texas, right in between Houston, San Antonio and Austin. Uh, it's about an hour and a half outside of Houston, probably about the same from San Antonio. And it's a 62-acre property that we, actually, my business partner owns, so it's private property. But So we have on-site camping, we have food trucks, we have live music, Excellent. we have an off-road course that we're building literally right now. We're almost done. And then we're going to have a bunch of vendors from all over the country. So a lot of big guys are coming out. Guys that you would not normally see in Houston are coming down to be part of it because they know how many Texans actually go overlanding and how underserved they are. Absolutely. Right yeah. yeah. That's why we're going to be attending too. We're very yeah. excited about it. So I pull in the gate. What next? So Let's say I show up on Thursday. I'm going to either day, uh, day stay or I'm going to camp. How does that work? Right. So you'll pull in the gate. You'll have your own entrance if you're camping, if you're doing a three-day camp. Uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, uh, and then you also have VIP camping, which is in the back, which you'll have a larger spot. You'll be able to bring travel trailer. Your, you know, if you want to bring your woolly bear, or you want to bring whatever type of trailer you have with you, you can. That's included in your rig pass. Oh, excellent! A lot of people might charge extra. I didn't. Uh, a big focus on that too was trying to make it affordable. Some people may say it's expensive, but the tickets start at thirty-five bucks. Excellent. Right. Well, so, that's cheaper than camping at any RV park, right? Right. right. Awesome. And so um, once you pull in, you can hang out. 
you can go grab some food. There's going to be live music. There's going to be like a food truck park. We have four or five food trucks already like lined awesome. up for the weekend. Porta potties. Yes. Okay. There's going to be porta clean porta potties. There's going to be super <laughs> clean porta potties. <laughs> yes. There's going to be showers. A Excellent. Shower trailer. Okay. And then one air conditioned uh, restroom trailer too. So. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, and what are the hours? What What are the entry day at, uh, times? So the hours are Friday from, what did I say, 12 to 5? Uh, 10 to 5. 10 to 5. I'm sorry. 10 to 5 Friday, and 9 to 5 Saturday, and Sunday is 9 to 2. Yes, 9 to 2. Yeah. Excellent. That way we can get our vendors out the door on Sunday a little bit earlier because they do have families that they have to go back to. So. Awesome. Very. So how'd you two meet? What is your connection in this venture? So uh, the show he was just talking about behind the brewery, mm -hmm. um, I was actually exhibiting uh, Escapod. It, it's a, a teardrop trailer off-road. Mm -hmm. And that's actually how we met. And then um, uh, he put me right up front. where yeah. I guess Got a good spot. Yeah, yeah. a yeah. good spot. And uh, that's that how it all just rolled into this. It's uh, He was like, wait, how many shows have, do you go to? I was like, well, I've been all the Overland Expos. And few other ones he's like well what about bringing a show like this to texas and that's how this all kind of yeah. rolled and there's such place. a demand we yeah. have very little public lands and there's some private parks but really for a, a place to take your family camping what a there's nothing more fun than an overlaid event right. seeing the products camping at night you're gonna have great weather right that's is that scheduled yeah. in yeah. okay good good that's what we're shooting for yeah. that's, <laughs> that's, that's, we picked up 104 hours <laughs> so. But uh, yeah, there's such a demand for that in Texas, and uh, I think a lot of people will use their rigs in and kind of schedule out places to camp uh, at, through festivals. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, the Flagstaff one is one I go to every year. It takes me two days to get there. Right. Uh, this will take two hours, and yeah, right. so very, very excited about that. So, tell us about some of the vendors you have coming. Man, we've got a list. Uh, if you want to pull up the list, we sure, absolutely. Camp. This is the website uh, TexasOverlandFest.com. Was it pull it up, Jamie? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie, pull that up on the screen. There you go. Well, tell us about your media sponsors. Uh, yeah, I'm very so excited about that. You have some big names on that. The biggest name we could get for media sponsor we got. Yes, we did. <laughs> and I'll actually explain to you how that happened. So I actually reached out to Expedition Portal. I shot Brian and Vickers an email. Super nice guy, like the nicest guy you could ever meet. And I said, hey, we're doing this event in Texas. We want to do it big. We want to do it to the highest level we can. Uh, what do you think? What are your opinions? I'd love to get your feedback. I got an hour, like in an hour, I got a response from him. We set up a call. He said, man, you know, George, like every article that we produce that has anything to do with Texas overlanding is usually like one of our highest rated articles that we publish throughout the year. He goes, and the South is super underserved for events and things like this. I think it's a great idea. We're totally on board. Excellent. And I'm like, wow. All right, cool. <laughs> you know, like getting his blessing was huge. You know what I mean? Cause they're so big, like him and Scott Brady lead the industry in like so many ways and do so many awesome things. And so having expedition portal, Scott, uh, Brian will be down uh, for the event awesome. hanging out. Very cool. And then, uh, some of our title sponsors like big country, Hiker and Taxa, you guys sell Taxa. Love Taxa, yeah, especially so. being in a Texas manufacturer of Absolutely. overland trailers. What a perfect place for them to show off their products. Right, but. right. And they're great friends of ours. They always come through. They always support us. They support us at the first event. Yep. They brought out a cricket and a woolly bear. Oh, and people loved it. And, you know, they gave, I think they gave away like a Dometic fridge. Yeah. <laughs> like they always have cool stuff they're giving away. Um, How do these people find out about you? Like, I mean, you got some big names on here, so they all—you're obviously on their radar, right? And uh, the demands here for it too. So, did they reach out to you? You so reach out to them? We did a pretty heavy run of social media stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, we record some really high-end video at the property, like all those videos you guys see of the Bronco and the Forerunner. The Forerunner's outside right now, right? It mm -hmm. wasn't made up video. <laughs> <laughs> so, we actually took it out to the property and we spent a day. 105 degree weather on a pasture like shooting videos running back and forth back and Excellent. forth back and forth and trying to just produce some really good high quality content to get people's attention and get them like hey look this is really going on and this is really happening in texas and you know just kind of drive it towards that and as like we just started ramping up like man guys just started giving us a call you know like 
Uh, just recently, I haven't added it to the site yet, but we got uh, Icon Vehicle Dynamics. Oh, excellent. So That's a big name. We yeah. also got NDC USA. Excellent. Uh, so there's, so who's ever going to go to this site, even within the next couple of weeks, you're going to see yeah, more and more. Yeah, keep checking in, you know, seeing the updates. Updated, updating, yeah. Awesome. And, and another thing, too, that I want to mention is like, you know, there's a lot of other shows that charge a ton of money for vendor spots, and they're not flexible, and they're not workable, and they really just care about the bottom line, where... We just want to get as many awesome products in front of people as we can. Yes. Because yeah. for Texas, it's like, man, this is the first thing we're actually going to come get to see all the big dogs, but also all the local guys, all the smaller shops, all the startups. Like, we want to be able to get everybody in there. So, I mean, like, even from here, like, you'll see Epting Customs. This guy makes, like, forged knives. They're, like, some of the baddest you'll ever see. Oh, yeah. And he was on, like, Forged in Fire on Annie. Mm -hmm. And, like, Canna Provisions makes like uh, water filtration systems mm -hmm. that you can roll up to like any lake and just throw it in and instant clean water. I oh, love right? it. So from even if you're a really small guy all the way up to the big guys, like we want to bring everybody in their space for everybody. And we want everybody to, to, to kind of grow with the event. So. Well, one big attraction to me was your off-road course. Can you tell us about that? Right. So not anything too crazy, but we are doing some like off-camera stuff, some hill climb, deep climb. Uh, stuff to just go out and test your rigs and you know I know a lot of guys want to bring their trailers and run the trailer through there Because they want to show off the suspension on the trailer, right? Yeah. Like everybody can have awesome suspension on their truck, but how about like yeah, on let's, your adventure let's try not to yeah. flip over the overland trailer. <laughs> yeah, All right. yeah, exactly. All right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, also AEB is coming out AEB's love their products. Huge. Oh, yeah uh, Cameron their regional manager is just so awesome. He's so for it. He's out of Dallas Fort Worth so he's super excited that we're putting awesome. on this event. Um, who else, Dave, do we got coming? Well, um, speaking of Canna, I will say this. There are a couple um, vendors that will not actually be there in person. Uh, shout out to Zach, who owns Canna Provisions. His wife will be giving a baby. We'll be having a baby uh, two weeks before the event. Okay. So, uh, But he is going to send one of his um, water filtration systems to give away. Excellent. So that's going to be one of the many giveaways we have. And that's a thousand dollar product and it's uh he says that you can do it right out of swamp water mm -hmm. into drinkable water so we'll be doing that um who else is might not be set up a, a, a in person there's a few there's a few guys that yeah. are just sponsoring and sent us great things to raffle exactly. off exactly and we're gonna have a raffle for door prizes and then we're gonna have some paid raffles the paid raffles is where you're gonna get like the tax of woolly bear we're one raffling of off a trailer, raffle yes. Off a tax of woolly bear. <laughs> it's incredible. Yeah. Which is huge. Yeah, a lot of people are super excited about that. Um, and then on top of that, we've got probably close to like seventy or eighty thousand dollars worth of stuff that we're raffling. Yeah. Like, awesome. And just overland gear, awnings, roof racks. Yes. All kinds of stuff. Recovery gear. Excellent. So. And so, what is the entry price? We said earlier, thirty-five a night. So 35 30, for the day. thirty-five bucks is a general admission pass. Okay. You can come in, hang out all day. At can the you show. sign up there, or do you need to do it online? Uh, you can buy tickets here. It'll take you to Eventbrite. Okay. And then uh, this just kind of gives you a small breakdown of the of the tick, different tickets. Um, and then once you click on there, it'll just take you straight to Eventbrite to buy the tickets. Excellent. And we're not going to turn anybody away if they show up without a ticket. They're allowed to get tickets there. Though. Yeah, you can also buy tickets at the gate. So Yeah, a lot of us are going to be getting off of work to head that yeah. way. Yeah. And There'll also be tickets at the things gate. Things can change. Yeah. Excellent. That's awesome. Very, very excited. Well, I know we're excited to be a sponsor of this, and we know this is going to be the biggest Overland uh, event in Texas and to grow from there. And uh, So what do you think your next location would be? Uh, man, we'll probably still do it in Caldwell. Mm -hmm. We have room to grow, so this event uh, is on a 62-acre property, but we also have some larger ones that we could possibly use in the future uh, if this one gets to where we outgrow this location. Excellent. But I'd like to keep it somewhere in that call station, Caldwell area, just central between, area for everybody. everybody. Yeah. Excellent. And yeah, we're extremely fortunate for um, having the connection that George has with having this land. I mean, to have 62 acres to just do, do a show like that is really yeah. something else. Oh, absolutely. If you go to some of the other ones, like the Expos that are going, and they're on you know private lands, that, and you have to be out of there by 5 o'clock, and there's just a lot of regulations and everything. This is way more laid back. This yeah. is for the people, for the vendors. That's what we want. Yeah, like if you're do. a vendor and you come out and you have a camp trailer and you're like, hey, can I just sleep in my camp trailer instead of getting a hotel room? Absolutely. I like that. Yeah. Okay. 
And uh, also we're gonna have a like Friday night, we're gonna do a vendor only happy hour where just vendors only and then the VIP campers will be able to just hang out and mingle with vendors, kind of do some networking amongst vendors. Yeah, tell us more about the VIP. Yeah, so you VIP, um, you're gonna get a hat, a shirt, a patch, a sticker, right? Like all your normal swag cool bag. Stuff. Yeah, all right, I bag. like it. I like it. And then you're gonna have a larger camp spot in a more remote area, like on the property, okay. kind of like behind some trees and a creek, which is super scenic and really cool. Nice. Um, and then you're gonna have a VIP spot for Friday night if you want to join the happy hour. You get a free drink ticket with that as well. Awesome. Very cool. Well, guys, we're excited, and uh, this is going to be big, and so definitely document it, take pictures, and uh, we're definitely ready for the next ones coming up. Excited I really to have you, Brad. Appreciate you guys. Yeah, thank you. Awesome. Man. Thank Absolutely. you so much. Thank you.